Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I bet you are ready for some regular videos again. The past three videos have all been travel vlogs and I figured I would start it out with a little bit of a grocery haul for you guys. So let's hop on into the video. All right, before we hop into the groceries that I got, I just kind of want to go over how I make my grocery lists and how we typically eat. Um, for my grocery lists, I will mostly go off of Pinterest or just like recipes that I know I want to make or the season. So right now it's like super gloomy, it's cold outside. It is totally fall mode here in Minnesota. So I got things for like soups and like, like hot dishes, like warm things. Also incorporating um, lots of keto style of these meals. Um, I do like to keep pretty keto still in the fall. Anyways, so we like to eat pretty clean and healthy for the most part. There are some like, I'd say like cheat meals in here for sure, but um, keto, paleo, that is typically how we like to eat. Um, we stay away from sugar, we try to stay away from gluten, things like that. But um, let's hop on into the food because there's a lot of it. Okay, so starting out over here, I'm gonna start with our meat. Um, I got some sausage patties for breakfast. This is always yummy to go with like eggs or sometimes Mike will make crepes for like Kaya. She loves to have these with crepes. Um, we have a pot roast here, pork chops. So the pot roast will be a meal, pork chops will be a meal. We've got chicken thighs and we'll split these in half and that'll be two meals. Um, and then we've got a pound of hamburger. And um, one thing we did forget was chicken breasts which kind of sucks because it's like for a lot of our meals, but we'll, we'll go back and get some. Um, we've got pepperoni because Kyle and I love to snack on pepperoni. And then um, we've got bacon, some pork sausage. Now with this meat, um, we'll do like just roast and carrots, potatoes for like a normal meal. And then we'll do pork chops with um, like side of veggies, things like that. Um, chicken thighs, same thing. We'll do chicken thighs with like rice and a side of veggies. Um, and then this hamburger, I got this specifically for something. Um, I'll have to pull up my meal list for you guys so I can go through all the meals. But, um, and then this is for breakfast. And then the pork sausage will be for a soup. I'm making a keto style um, Tuscan soup, which is really good. So we've got whole carrots back here. Um, which will go with the rose to my tosses and with a few other things. Um, they are higher in carbohydrates, but um, what I like to do is these give me more of that like potatoey, starchy type of like feel, taste, I guess you could say, with my roast. Um, and then I can still do like a keto gravy and keep my carbs down. Now, this is more of like lazy keto because um, I, when I'm pure keto, I won't do carrots or anything like that. But, um, and then we've got a spaghetti squash because spaghetti squash spaghetti or spaghetti squash Alfredo is really good. Um, jalapenos because we love to do jalapeno poppers. So with these, we cut these in half. And then I will fill it with something like this. Usually I do like a normal cream cheese, but I found this jalapeno and cheddar cream cheese, which, which looked super good, and that is keto friendly. We try to stay lower on our dairy, but um, cream cheese is a yummy add-in once in a while. We've got avocados, and then we've got some salad, some spring mix underneath here. We really like to have Cobb salads. My favorite salad lately is just a simple, um, just my greens, I'll add like maybe some cucumbers, some avocado, and then I will do sriracha and Italian dressing. It's super good, it's super spicy, it's kind of like an Asian vinaigrette. Um, zucchini, because we like to slice these in half, put them in the oven, sprinkle them with cheese. Um, if you're going dairy free, you can just leave the cheese off and season them, very good. Um, getting into some of the stuff for Kaya, um, I will munch on blueberries and strawberries once in a while, but I'll cut these up. These are really nice to have on hand for healthy snacks for Kai. We've got um, unsweetened almond milk in the back here. I don't think it's vanilla. I think this is just regular unsweetened almond milk, which is really good to have with our iced coffee. You guys know at every grocery haul, I've got iced coffee, unsweetened iced coffee, and unsweetened almond milk because that's my go-to in the morning. Um, then we've got bananas back here, and then if we don't eat all of these and some of them go bad, I will make banana bread with them because Mike loves banana bread. 
Um, we've got some frozen mango chunks and these are mostly, yeah, this is banana bread. Um, I've got frozen mango chunks and these are mostly for Riker. We like to put them in his little mesh thing and he can teeth on them. He loves these. Oh, nice. A whole box of that. And then I've got this mixed berry blend and I plan on doing um, some smoothies with the unsweetened almond milk and the mixed berries um, instead of ice cream for Kaya. We've got some raw shrimp. Now, my tip to my friends and family and my viewers is if you want really good shrimp, make sure that you get the tail on peeled and de-veined raw shrimp. Do not get the cooked shrimp. Don't, don't get the pink stuff because it'll be overcooked and gross if you want to like saute it up into like a scampi style. So this will be a good meal. Just this with a side of rice and veggies. Super yummy. Potatoes and these are mostly for Kaya. I might have potatoes once in a while but mostly for Mike and Kaya. Um, I've got mixed frozen veggies. Now this is something that I don't normally get but I was craving like a chicken pot pie. So that will definitely be a cheat meal for me, but um, I figured maybe tonight or tomorrow night I would make like a really warm, yummy chicken pot pie because it's cold and rainy outside. So these frozen mixed veggies are for that, along with these Grand's biscuits that I'll put on top. Mike's gonna have to go back and get the chicken breast for it, but that's okay. Um, some veggies for the side. We've got broccoli. And then we've got broccoli and cauliflower. So one of these bags will be a side to a meal. In here, like I said, we do a lot more hot dishes and things like that during the winter time. So I've got like a bunch of corn here for tater tot hot dish, which to make it keto, I just take the tater tots off uh, so that it's just, that's what the ground beef is for. That's, there we go. Tater tot hot dish. And um, I'll just take the tater tots off so that it's just corn, hamburger, and then cream of mushroom soup in there with a little bit of cheese on top. Again, it's not super healthy, but it's a good like lazy keto meal. Um, I've got Rotel because I am making enchiladas, which we got gluten-free tortillas this time for the enchiladas. We do like a salsa verde style enchilada. So I've got Rotel for that and another can of Rotel back here for um, right here for like a taco soup, which is good. Um, yep, so diced tomatoes. We make salsa out of these diced tomatoes and there's a seasoning somewhere in here and we'll get to it eventually if I can find it, but there's a seasoning that we use for our salsa. We make our salsa ourselves. Um, I just have some beef bouillon here and this is what I use in a lot of like soups and I use this for my roast. Super good. It's like a... Um, like a, not a cream style, but it's not powdered. It's more of like a liquid form of bouillon. It's really good. I get a chicken one like this too. Cream of mushroom and cream of chicken in here for um, miscellaneous. The cream of chicken is for the chicken pot pie. And then for chicken divan, I make like a, a lazy keto style chicken divan. And it is fairly low carb um, since it's spread across so many servings. Um, oh, here is that hot sauce mix. This is what we use for our salsa. This is something local to our area. I don't know if this is something you guys can get um, on like anywhere else besides within like the Midwest area, but this is super good. Um, diced green chilies for the enchiladas. I've got some four cheese rosa alfredo for um, half the spaghetti squash will be used for Alfredo, half of it will be used for spaghetti. We got some fresh garlic back here, or just like diced garlic back here. Um, let's see what else is in here. Um, ketchup for Kaya because always need ketchup. Veggie chips for Kaya because she's been loving Pringles lately and I'm trying to find a better alternative. Um, I did find, so this is totally going to be a cheat because this is super processed. This is super processed, it's totally gonna be a cheat, but it looked super yummy. The carbs on it, there's like eight grams of carbs per five serving, or per serving, and there's five servings. So it is a little bit higher in the carbs, but it looks so good, the Thai curry chicken. Yum, it looks so good. And then um, we've got some almonds back here, puffs for Riker, baby food for Riker. 
Kaya, this was her treat. I tried to get the Stonyfield Organic, but it was literally like three times the price of these. These were on sale. These are not healthy, and I don't like to get these for Kaya very often, but I do like to show you guys that yes, we are human, and we still get um, like regular kid food. So, um, and then we get this apple juice for Kaya. It's pure pressed. That's why it looks so dark and it's like not clear. It's because it's not from concentrate. It's really good. Um, another treat for Kaya. She was just tossing things in the cart this time and I had no willpower to tell her no. Um, I don't even know what this is. It is fruit snacks. Um, we've got some go-go squeeze, some apple strawberry. A cup from I don't know. We've got some oranges, these little like come and find halo guys. We always get these every grocery shopping trip. Um, I've got mini bagels. Now these are for Kaya for breakfast in the morning. She's been having like new two green bars, and I just I don't know. I wanted to switch it up a little bit for her, but she's very hungry in the morning. So we'll have um, these on hand for her breakfast. Um, got some bread because Mike and Kaya do like to have bread. They like to have toast in the morning, so I'm not going to deprive them from it completely. So I've got this oat nut bread. Um, and then in here, we've just got some ramen. Again, ramen, chicken nuggets. These are like things that I like to have on hand for Kaya. If she's not eating anything else, I at least like to put something in her tummy, and this will do the trick. And I might even have one of these for like a cheat meal, which is awful, but ramen there's something about ramen that i just love but again not healthy but nice to have on hand for the kids um i might even give Riker some noodles too he might like that um and then i've got some this is like the um uncle ben's rice it's just the target brand I've got garden vegetable spanish style wild rice and then a whole grain blend with lentils and quinoa so it's like brown rice lentils and quinoa um this looks super good tater tots for tater tot hot dish again if i'm gonna eat it i'll leave the tater tots off of my portion um and then hash browns for the kids or hash browns for kaya i make in the morning I, once in a while i'll have these two when i'm doing keto like i said i when i'm doing lazy keto i mostly just like count my total carbs for the day and make sure that i'm under 50 um and that will um still get me into ketosis and um just maybe not lose as much weight as i could of doing it a hundred percent but in the fall we like to divulge a little bit get some casseroles and some soups and some warm things in our tummies but yeah this is an overview of all of the food that we got this is about 240 ish dollars 230 ish dollars um, including all the meat so and this will last us typically about like 10 to 12 maybe two weeks worth of food all right, you guys, I am going to wrap up the video there for today. Um, I just wanted to include a couple of more comments. Like I said, um, we base all of our groceries around our meals. Our meals for this time, we've got tater tot hot dish, we've got um, chicken divan, and we've got pork chops and veggies, roast and veggies, chicken breasts and veggies, chicken enchiladas, um, chicken pot pie, Let's see what else do I have over. Spaghetti squash spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti squash alfredo, um, two meals worth of chicken thighs, and then shrimp and veggies. So we've got lots of really good things, and we've got some fish left in the freezer, some salmon that we need to eat up. So that is what we're going to be eating for the next couple of weeks. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and this meal planning with me, and I will see you guys in a couple of days for the next video. Okay, bye guys.